Hey Aquarius, so I am here with your January 2021 um, spiritual coaching session slash, slash reading slash spiritual messages. Um, this is if you have Aquarius pretty much anywhere in your houses, in your chart, anywhere you guys. There's going to be aspects of the reading that are going to resonate for you and with you, okay? Um, you guys, I'm selling, for those who don't know, I'm selling spiritual love baths. The intentions behind these baths are to usher in the highest energy of self-love to cleanse your auric field. It's like your own personal baptism um, to help you detach from energies, people, whatever, situations that no longer serve your highest good or, you know, um, restore you spiritually, okay? Um, also, I'm selling, um, let me see, did I put it up? I don't think I have it out, but I'm selling, um, custom made spiritual oils. Um, so the spiritual baths are pre made, but the spiritual oils, if whatever intuitively I feel like you need the oils for, whatever intuitively, you know, you can still tell me, like, I want the oil for this to help me with my chakras, to help me heal, to help me with my self love, to help me with whatever it is, you know. So we'll do that. Those $10 plus shipping and handling. And so, yeah, and then also if you're interested in a personal reading, you guys can contact me for that. My information will be down below. Okay, Aquarius, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to pull you guys a um, Everyday Witch Oracle card first. Ooh, cards are big, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> so let's see, Aquarius. Okay, can I have one card for my beautiful Aquariuses? Can I have one card for Aquarius? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so the card that came out is Water Magic. Some of you guys could have water in your chart. Let me get my book. Okay. 84. Okay, so this is the card. It says, water is a powerful force. It can wear down a mountain or create a lake. It brings life to the fields, but can also be violent and impossible to control. Not an element to be taken for granted, as you will know if you have ever been thirsty or lived through either a drought or a flood. Most of the time, though, water is our friend, and if we can use its power to help us change and transition through various stages of our lives, water is fluid and flexible and reminds us that we can be that way too so a lot of you guys um i always say this like water is a very healing you know a very um strong healing tool like all the elements of you know that man didn't have any parts in creating fire air water you know those are very powerful tools and sometimes we forget it um and we need to just um we it's a it's a need i say we need to but calling in our power through using water whether it's manifestation whether it's cleansing whether it's healing whether it's with drinking the water whether it's you know taking a bath whether it's getting close to a body of water um anything like that you guys you guys um a lot of you guys do have water in your chart strongly whether you know it or not I always tell you guys to check your um your birth charts okay okay so that's that let's move on <clears throat> aquarius I don't know why I'm hearing taking appropriate action, Aquarius. So I don't know if that's going to make sense to any of you guys. Aquarius. What are the messages for Aquarius? What are the messages for Aquarius? Aquarius. Okay. Thank you so much. So we have deep emotional healing and wellness. So this is a lot of healing. Excuse me, this is a lot of strong healing going on for you guys. Some of you guys, this is chakra like, okay, all right now. Some of you guys, this has to do with kundalini. Some of you guys may be going through a kundalini awakening. Some of you guys may see snakes, dream of snakes, be drawn to snakes. Um, that type of energy because some of you guys are literally going to go through a kundalini awakening. Some of you, ooh, wee, mm-hmm. Some of you guys are really going to go into a meditative state. 
Like you're going to be pulling back from situations, people, places. Like you're not going to want to be bothered. And I, and some people may or may not have a problem with that. And I feel like either way, you don't care. Go Aquarius. I'm getting that energy. What are the messages for Aquarius? What are the messages for Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. A lot of healing. A lot of strong healing going on. What are, okay. Um, we have multifaceted. We have stay strong in your faith. These are some of the cards that, um, what card what son did I just do? Leo. So some of you guys may even have Leo in your chart. Or be dealing with a Leo. Multifaceted, right? There's many layers, dimensions um, to who make to to who you are, Aquarius. Some of you guys are very different. You're very unique. You know what I'm saying? You're, there's there's first of all, we know none of us are carbon copies. Some people want to be carbon copies of others, but Aquarius, you guys are some or you are a person. A lot of you guys are you know carry the energy of somebody who just is like remaining true to yourself is very important to you. Like, I, I don't want to be like nobody else. I'm not like anybody else. I'm true to form. If you don't like me, oh, well, you don't have to like me. And to be honest, if, if you do, if maybe that's that ties you into the energy of Leo because a lot of Leos are like that. Leos are like that, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like at times, like Aquarius, you guys really, really own that energy more so than anybody. Like, you really don't care. And I feel like you're not supposed to care what people think about you. I'm saying if you're living your life and you're and you're vibrating at a healthy, you know, high vibrational energy, then it's not behooving you to care about what nobody thinks about you. I mean, you know, we got celebrations and ceremonies at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. What are the messages? What are the messages for Aquarius? We have to make time for self-care. Yeah, like I said, like some of you guys are really going to be pulling back your power because for some of you guys, you have been giving to situations or giving to a situation that's really expired for you. That's really gone. And a lot of, and for some of you guys, energetically, hey, you have been giving and giving and giving into something that's not serving you anymore. You know what I'm saying? So there's, um, for some of you guys, there's a pullback on that. Okay. Pull back on that and taking care of yourself. Like I'm not, I'm not doing that. I said I was going to do that, like, but I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm going to do. I'm gonna do something for me. That's that's. I hear Aquarius saying that. Like, I'm I'm about to do something for me. This is not about you. This is about me. You know. Let me see if there's any other messages for Aquarius. Yep. We have give it to God. Yep. Value your self worth. Give it to God. Yeah. Just because somebody asks something of you, that don't mean you're supposed to give it to him, Aquarius. No, absolutely not. Purification and de detoxification, drinking more water, um, cleansing, detoxing, um, things like that. Look, me, I got water right here. Y'all know, oh, wait, hey, you've been watching my video for a while, my videos, you know that I stay drinking water. Okay, let's see what the messages are. For Aquarius. Aquarius. got the queen of pentacles Ooh, okay aquarius okay now queen of pentacles we got the queen of pentacles six of swords the hermit card and a ten of cups can i have one more card for my aquarius one more card oh okay aquarius all right oh this is good y'all this is good shit this is good shit okay i like this <clears throat> Oh wow, y'all who oh, y'all got a lot of cards. Okay. 
I'm gonna stop asking spirit to give me a specific number of cards and just yeah because <laughs> it always goes over all right so you guys got the queen of pentacles the six of swords the ver the hermit the vermin what the hell the ten of cups the ace of pentacles the four swords the world card and the two of cups aquarius that's beautiful energy um the ace of y'all the ace of swords is the bottom of the deck something like profound like i'm hearing like profound victory something of a victory some of you guys this could have to do with your stability could have to do with a taurus capricorn or virgo or some of you guys have that in your chart clarify that um the queen of pentacles stability being grounded some of you guys this is what it is some of you guys this has to do with a marriage a commitment of sorts some of you guys this is a commitment to yourself a commitment to you for you to rise above whatever circumstances or whatever situations or whatever this queen it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman but like this is a commitment to yourself for a lot of you guys you're committed to your journey you're committed to the things that you're working on this is it and it's grounding you and bringing you a lot of peace a lot of um a lot of for some of you guys a lot of love um, of course that makes sense the six of swords please Ooh. the seven of wands yeah tenacity like that's the energy i give with the seven of wands a lot of times is tenacity building and working and patience and building and working and patience knowing that the bear the, the bears of you like you know what i'm saying like the work and time or whatever you put into situations and circumstances is going to bear beautiful fruit 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 like you're you are very you are committed to restoring peace to restoring balance um, I re, you know, um, that type of energy back to you. Clarify this hermit card, please. Clarify the hermit. The three of pentacles. Okay. Teamwork. Like some of you guys, um, may have a project. I don't know how this relates or, you know, um, this could have to do all oh, this could be working with a, a Virgo. So some of you guys are t tag team and are working up or or something with a, with a Virgo. This could have to do with your money, your stability, your finances. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Or this could have to do with a love situation or a family dynamic. Clarify. Oh, this is you. This is for so some of you guys. This is this hermit energy is you. Some of you guys coming together to work together for like your finances to increase. For some, clarify this Ten of Cups. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups, please. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups, please. Okay. Yep, this has to do with family, you guys. This is family. Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is family, is love, is togetherness, is celebrations, is balanced emotions. The Four of Wands represents home. No, I did not. I'm working. Please. The Four of Wands is togetherness, building a home, living together, harmony. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys may or may not be getting pregnant in the near future. There's a baby. Two babies for some of you guys. Somebody's having a baby. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. The Star Card. This is your energy, you guys. This is you. The emotional balance, the love, the tenacity, the focus, the drive, the ambition. All of this is bringing you to this energy of the Ace of Pentacles and the Star card. Accomplishing your goals, working on yourself, being patient, being resilient. Like, And like some of you guys are going to be financially rewarded in a real way. Like, Or for some of you guys, if it's not like a, a huge check for some of you guys, it may or may not be. It's just... The commitment that you've had to yourself, the commitment that you've had to your projects, the commitment that you had to your work, and then boom! Some of you guys, this is the commitment to your family. This is the commitment to your family. Clarify this four of swords. Clarify the four of swords. Clarify the four of swords. Clarify the four of swords. 
Okay, so we have the Three of Cups and the Ten of Swords. The Four of Swords going within, contemplating, meditating, coming after, you know, because remember you was in the hermit mode, right? So the Four of Swords also, it's like that energy behind it, like going within, but it's not like the hermit mode is going within that energy for a length of time. The Four of Swords is just like, okay, I need to go, I need to go, I need to meditate, I need to sleep on this, I need to talk to God, I need to talk to whoever you deem as your higher source, whatever. And then, you know, realizing something. Three of Cups. Could have to do for somebody. This could be somebody your energy. This can be somebody your energy. Where there was a third party situation. Where somebody was dealing with somebody else on the side. Or this could have been you. I was going to say Libra. I was I literally. Libra, Libra came out of my mouth. But Aquarius Libra. Some of you guys could have Libra in your chart. Or be dealing with a Libra. Or dealing with a, have dealt with a Libra. Who was you know. Where there was some healing going on in a situation. Where you thought something was over, completed, done, finito, bam. Now, some of you guys, I'm going to be honest. This is you leaving a situation. There was a lot of love, but there was a lot of things that you couldn't get over from the past. Or somebody couldn't get over your um, stuff, right? This new cycle, and then there's a love offer. For some of you guys, it's the same person. Some of you guys, this is a different person. This ain't going to resonate for everybody. Clarify this world card. Clarify this world card. We have the world card. Okay. Okay. We got the moon card. We got the king of swords. We got the page of pentacles and the... Oh, Lord. Have mercy, Aquarius. Somebody balancing. And I got the same energy for Leo. Like balancing their masculine... I mean, this is feminine energy, period. The moon is feminine. The king of swords is um, strategy. It's thinking... It's um, not making a decision based on somebody else. Not making, making that decision based on your emotions, too. You're very aware of what's what. But the Page of Pentacles is um, an offer of stability in some sorts. Judgment card. With the World card. Falling in along with God, falling along with God's call, falling along with God's plan. It's God's plan. This is God's plan for some of you guys. And a lot of you guys are just naturally aligning with this energy. Clarify this two of cups, please. Clarify this two of cups. Two of cups, please. Two of cups. Two of cups is commitment, love, offers togetherness a new relationship for some of you guys this ain't gonna be for everybody this is a relationship that's coming in for some of you Aquariuses. a commitment of some no i don't feel like it's even a commitment i just feel like it's a relationship yep a new beginning a new beginning could be with an aries a pisces cancer or scorpio it doesn't matter the sign but this is a leap of faith taken ushered onto you by the universe this is the this for some of you guys this is what the universe has been asking and calling for you to do and try not not even calling you to do but trying to show up for you and trying to show you what's up but because of ego because of just being stagnant comfortable or working on something else you haven't been able to see this for some of you guys this is a a, um, a restoring in a situation give me one strong card of advice please divine holy spirit of advice for Aquarius. one card of advice one card of advice. One card of advice. The Knight of Cups. Okay. Now this is the Page of Cups. Some of you guys, if you get asked to have a drink with somebody and you're like, damn, should I? Like, you want to, but you don't know, like, do it. Okay. I don't know who that's going to be for. Take it easy. That's what they're saying. Take it easy. Step by step. For some of you guys, it has to do with this relationship that's being restored or this new relationship or whatever you're getting ready to step into of commitment of hearts, of emotions, dealing with your emotions. Taking it little by little. This, page, this is the page energy. This is the beginning. This is the beginning stage. So take it little by little. You get what I'm saying? All right. Let's see what the messages are for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius, please. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. So 
something flipped over. We have follow your heart. Yeah, trust your heart, babies. Meditate. If you, you know, going within. That's two cards of the you know, three cards of the same energy. What are the messages? We have the next card we have is um take charge of the situation. This is uh this is love, you guys. I'm telling you, some of you guys got freedom. This is if this is a new relationship, it's not gonna feel like your past relationship. Your other your past relationship probably was unfulfilled. This is not that type of energy. Aquarius. Aquarius. Reconciliation for some of you guys. Yeah. Remember I told you for some of you guys you have a reconciliation on the brink. Some of you guys. This is the energy. Oh gosh. This is the energy of um. This is the energy. Yeah, some of you guys got reconciliation shit. Yeah. <laughs> This is a newness. Hey, yo, hey, yo, uh, it's something. Okay. We got worth waiting for and deception. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the only card I over. Okay, what's the deception now? We got twin flame. We got listen. And we have positive change. Yep, I was picking. That's so funny. Like, I was picking up on that energy of twin flame. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Leo Libra. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo or a Libra. But I was picking up on that energy of twin flame. And look at the twin flame card. I was pulling that energy on when I was shuffling the card. Listen and positive change. Some of you guys got a reconciliation with your twin flame. Some of your twin flame has been... Some of you guys, your twin flame has been in and out your world to, from four to six years or four to eight years. That's what the reconciliation is. Clarify this deception card. Clarify this deception card. Deception. Somebody wearing a false mask in a relationship, not telling somebody who how they really feel, like, or that they want to start a new beginning for some of you guys. They see you as happy, like a happy, like, oh, okay. The, look, the Knight of Cups came out. Remember, the Page of Cups came out as their advice. The Knight of Cups is more confident. The Knight of Swords is communication. Somebody feeling more confident, uh, talkative, you know, almost. The Justice card. Mary, I was picking up, I said Libra earlier. This is Libra energy. The Knight, oh no, what's, what's behind this card? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this is like the Knight of Wands. Fast communication, fast talking. So, do, 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 somebody talking fast. I see or hear somebody talking fast. Because they have, so it's not that they're being deceitful. It's just they got a lot to say. Happiness, somebody being in their head. I think the deception is somebody being in their head want to take an action want to move forward but they have like they have a lot of thoughts going on in here okay Aquarius that is the end of your reading I hope that it's helped like I said if you need a personal reading or you want to purchase anything that I mentioned you guys can contact me okay love you guys peace take care